Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to do a first look at the showdown slates for this evening. And again, I, I like to, when I have time, um, show you, again, just give you a taste of my whole process. And uh, sometimes I don't have time to do this, depending on my work schedule, and sometimes I do. And when I do, I think it is a good exercise to um, run some early builds and get a sense for what the slate's going to look like. Um, even though it could look completely different as we get closer to lock. And, and one of the reasons for that, and just don't underestimate this, is quite simply the more practice that you get um, dealing with these with these tools, okay, the, the better off you're going to be, you know, because sometimes you're under a lot of pressure, like time pressure to um, – to, uh, to uh to get stuff done so the the more opportunities you have to make these clicks and to know what you're looking at the better um so the first thing again again th th to make your life a little easier to use saber sim is you should always put some your lineups in your dummy lineups in early in the day so that you can upload those entry files to saber sim early so they're already in there this way the contest sims are already set and you know, at least it, it just saves you a step later in the day. So I put some dummy lineups in both DraftKings and FanDuel just to kind of show you how I do that. I mean, how I get them out of there. You go to contest, upload entries, you download them from DraftKings, for example, and then you just upload them from that file to um, SaberSim. And then you'll see that you're not, you're, you're now in there and, and the contest that you have are in there. So the contest Sims you have are in there. Um, let's do the same thing with FanDuel. We'll go to contests and then upload entries, download file from FanDuel. It automatically finds it for you. Well, it finds you the, the page and then CSV download there. See, it, it's a little bit easier for DraftKings, but not, you know, not too much easier. All right, so then we'll upload this into FanDuel, and so now now Saber Sim at least is up to speed with what we're what we're going to play. Okay. All right. Next thing I want to do is just take a look at the projections and kind of see what they look like. And and what we're going to look at are two sets of projections. One are mine, and one are Saber Sims, and you'll you'll see the difference. Okay. For my um projections i usually only give projections for the players that are, are rate to score you know some points okay sure. like these total bow wows that you know rate to score like one point or something like that it's just tough to make a projection for but i'm not going to dismiss them i mean i'm probably going to use them but they're not going to show up in, in my in my projection file okay it, it's at least on um uh Wow, FanDuel, look at this. I'm getting like a whole, I don't know, this is, this is, ooh, I actually have the wrong, well, this is odd. Let me just see something. The DraftKings one I did, my DraftKings looks good. I'm going to actually do my FanDuel one. In a, uh, let me just pause a second. All right, sorry. So I ran that FanDuel one, so I was able to access both of them. But what I was going to say is that when you look at the sheets from you know the ones I do projections on, you're only going to see the players that you know have. Well, I shouldn't say that because I did throw in a Cameron Johnson in here, but usually you're not going to get projections from the guys that rate to get like one point. You know, uh, we're going to have to sprinkle them in anyway. But it's just kind of a, a dumb projection to make. Um, so, so what you're looking at here, I mean, is the least important thing probably in DFS, and that would be single game projections in showdown slates. Um, they just there's a way so much variance, and and all showdown is really about is finding reasonable lineups that that might be unique. <laughs> so, and using the tools to help you do that. Um, the ownership projections are, I guess, okay. But really, it's about construction, leaving money on the table, and things like that. So 
just want to kind of see what we're going to get here. Uh, one thing, even if you just sort by point per dollar, I guess. When you sort by point per dollar, obviously the 200 hour guy is going to be the biggest one, but Sterling Shepard is getting a projection here. So he looks like he could be a good value play. Ray Ray McLeod, 3,400. Looks like he's going to be a good value play. Um, those are the main guys, even Kate Otten. So th these three guys are actually, I mean, they're like actual guy, actually guys are going to be on the field. Uh, now the Sterling Shepard thing. Uh, I'm not, a, I'm not a hundred percent a believer. I know he got involved in the last game, but, but Tampa is really about those two main guys, you know, Evans and, and Godwin, but in showdown, I mean, you have to be somewhat creative. Like, who's to say that Cameron Johnson, for example, doesn't get some more snaps this time? It, it it rates to be a game that could deliver. You know, it's a dome game and it's a close spread. You know, this game could could smash. You know, so all these receivers could end up being in play here. Um, The other thing about the Tampa situation is obviously Rashad White. I mean, I'm presuming him him in, but if he's out, then this whole thing is 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 something different. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, like right now, I think he's the only running back I'm projecting. But actually, and Bucky Irving, sorry. So Bucky Irving, if obviously if Rashad White is out, Bucky Irving's a complete lock. Um, but he might even be a, a lock anyway. You know, like like they, they like to use both of these guys. So again, when it comes to showdown. Doing fundamental research is so not important. Um, I would say that Tampa at 3,600 is probably, I mean, that's obviously going to get more ownership than the Falcons at 44. If you want to get somewhat different, you could play the Falcons defense, I suppose. But what I'd like to do is just kind of run some lineups here and see what I'd be getting. Um and, and here's the point that I was gonna I was gonna make. When you upload the projections to SaberSim, okay, it's very important. What you're gonna want to do if you do it the way I do it is you take whatever file you have and make sure you do not click exclude unlisted players because if you did, the only players that would be in your player pool are the players in my projection file. And as I mentioned, there are a lot of players not in my projection files that we're probably gonna want in in the lottery. So just hit save, and then as you'll see, okay, like there'll be guys like down here that without like kind of an actual projection that's in red or green that you're probably going to want to include in your player pool, you know? Uh, you, what you're going to want to do, obviously, is check the actives because I would say probably 50% of these players are not going to be active. So make sure that you X those, those out. But for, you know, showdown big GPP MME, I don't think you want to get rid of any of these guys. Okay. Um, so for now, let's assume they're all in and, and, and see what we would get. So let's, again, let's just click build 2000 lineups. And I, I'm curious to see what we get with the different, um, the different sorting methods. You want on the other monitor right now you have the league of legends big huge slate like eight single game matches and i'm playing i'm in that world championship game uh not qualifier I'm, this is the world championship with a hundred thousand for first and i have basically eight different like four man stacks um not off to a great start because uh blg kind of smashed in game one and i really don't have knight in the captain over there so we'll just see what ends up happening with that top esports is playing a very close game with t1 right now it doesn't look like either of them are going to score all that well it's 18 total kills after 27 minutes but we'll, we'll 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 keep an eye on that i guess okay so when we run it without simming and again we also haven't left money on the table and all that stuff i mean what are we going to end up getting here we'll end up getting um mayfield cousins Bijan robinson well, 43% McLeod. That's interesting. And as far as captain goes, I mean, there's nothing particularly earth shattering about this build. Okay. 
Now, again, we haven't screwed around with it yet. We haven't left money on the table. We haven't, you know, made geo mean filtering or whatever. But one thing you do see, which is kind of cool, is that you're getting lineups with, say, 48K organically. And that's, I really like that. Okay. Um, so now, like, when we do leave money on the table, it's going to be okay. We're still going to have, like, kind of decent lineups. Let's run the contest sims. And again, this is what I like to do early just to kind of see what, again, early ownership projections will get us and all that stuff. I mean, what type of uh, effect ownership projections will have on our lineups because that's typically what's going to affect the contest sims are the ownership projections. Want to get a quick look at the, nah, you know, I can't show the Riot game stuff or they'll probably yell at me. So if we did this, it's pretty similar. You get more, I guess, more cap, more Mike Evans in the captain, maybe. And again, if I wanted to right now, I could just I could limit my salary just so I have something. Yeah, you know, let's do that. Let's let's go. Um, uh, filter, add new filter, salary. Less than 49500 maybe. Just to get a little funky. And the, I don't need to play Falcons defense. I mean, any, I don't want to play defense captains. I just don't feel like it. I think the, that ship has sailed on that. Ooh, and top esports with the ace. They're going to come in and win this game, but they're not going to score all too well. So we're going to see if that's good enough. Um, it's a good game out of uh, Jackie Love, though, and a good game out of the mid laner, um, out of Cream. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe this puts me in decent shape, but let's just see. Are they going to? Yeah, they're going to win this 14 to 9, which is probably not going to be good enough. But anyway, so let's save these. Um, to our contest for now. We've saved some salary. You know, that's fine. But you see, there's nothing that's that off the board. I mean, at least in early runs. Maybe that's good. Maybe maybe we can get away with it and, and play just by leaving 500 on the table and get maybe, you know, five dupes or something like that. And just for funsies, let's do a, a fan duel one. Not even just for fun, let's, because because again, we get practice doing it and we make sure that we have some viable lineups in case, you know, something happens and we forget. <laughs> so, and that happens to some people like me, uh, unfortunately. So let's do the same thing. We'll upload our projections to fan duel. And we could keep our unlisted players build lineups, and we're off to the races. Yeah, so the Jackie Love was a good performance. I don't know if it's going to be good enough, though. Let's see. Jackie. Jackie. Yeah, it's going to be not going to be quite good enough, but eh, not terrible. Yeah, so it looks as my, my BLG ones are not gonna not gonna be good enough. Boy, Jackie Love only had fifty seven. I thought he did better than that. Eight, two, and five. That's all he did. Okay, I thought he was better. All right. Uh, okay, so now we'll do the same thing. Let's uh, run the contest sims. But let's just see what we have. So, yeah, I mean, Mayfield and the captain. I mean, this is nothing particularly bizarre. But again, if Rashad White somehow is ruled out, you know, then then again, it's only only unfree and everything is different. But shall see.
Okay. Um, let's again do the same thing with the oops, with the um filter. And again, this fan duel, so we don't want to do 495 because that'd be kind of silly because it's sixty thousand dollar salary cap. We'll do the same thing. Um salary less than fifty-nine thousand five hundred. Boom. And then we'll save. And then we'll. Now, one thing that you'll notice, you may have noticed, is that I, I left salary on the table for all contests, which I have I probably should change, you know. So I don't need to leave salary on the table for the big wildcat or anything like that. So that's something that we're going to do a little bit later. Just make sure that our filters are proper. But again, it's just an early look and an early kind of like exercise of building these things. And we like to make sure that we have some, our lineups are in and they are, and uh, that's going to do it. So we'll, I think Bobby and Cruz are going to be there a little later tonight. I don't think I'm going to be able to join you guys, but uh, that's at least an early look. Good luck, everybody.